So after I graduated college, I went to China to teach English for a semester. I was there for around four or five months, and I went with one of my best friends, Jonathan Spencer. And、um, it was a great experience because I've always wanted to go to Asia. I always want to experience like a foreign land and like live there and really like learn about the culture and the language. And it was it it was exactly that. Probably the most memorable story that I have from living in China was when we went to visit the Avatar Mountains. The Avatar Mountains are these mountains that shoot up like straight from the ground, so they kind of look like columns, and they have you know like. But they still have like trees on them. You can find like monkeys, and it's miles and miles of like mountain range. So it takes at least a couple of days to be able to look at it all. So me and my friend Spencer,、um, we decided to go and visit for a weekend. So we took a train. You know, it was probably like seven or eight hours out, and、uh, we got there. We found a hotel, and the next morning we went up to the Avatar Mountains. We decided that we were going to just kind of do our own thing, and they gave us a map, and、um, we just walked kind of where we wanted. But there's already like pre-made trails, but we didn't take any like elevators or any buses up or down. We just like walked the whole thing. The first day was great. I got some really great pictures,、uh, but it was always busy. It was super busy. That's what we noticed wherever we went, even when we went to the top of the mountain. I even remember、uh, when we were walking up the mountain,、uh, we were seeing people like with like McDonald's like food, like McDonald's fries, which I thought was kind of funny because I was like, who brings like McDonald's all the way up this mountain? When we got to the top of the mountain, turns out there was like a little like shopping center, and McDonald's was at the top of the mountain, which I thought was hilarious. The first day was great, but the next day we wanted to really like try to go somewhere that didn't have so many people. Because we felt like we were just kind of claustrophobic with all the tourists that were everywhere. So my friend Jonathan Spencer, he found this area that looked like it was like a old trail that we can go, and that was kind of a little bit off the beaten path. So we packed up, got waters and food, and we decided to head out the next day and go up to the mountains. And to find this place, we had to be like dropped off in the middle of a like a road. And then we had to like go off and into this little town, and we did eventually find this old trail, and it was like really, you know, just unkept. It was really、um, old, but we there was like no one there, so it was super nice. It was super cool for us to just be on our own and just、uh, just discovering the mountains by ourselves. We took a lot of great photos. We found like a really large cave.、Um, But the thing is, also because there isn't any like tourists and isn't kept, this trail is kept. There wasn't really like any bathrooms either or any like amenities for us. And at this point, I really need to use the bathroom. But I decided I was just gonna hold it in until we found an actual bathroom. I didn't want to go out in the mountain. Eventually,、uh, we found another trail and even less kept. And、um, like more foresty trail in the mountains, and the thing is, we had a decision to make because around this time it was probably you know in the afternoon,、um, probably like two or three in the afternoon, and if we wanted to get back to our hotel, we had to take a bus, and the last bus was at like seven p.m. It was the last bus that goes back into the city. So we had、uh, we had to make a decision: either keep、um, exploring the mountain on our own and hopefully find a way down the mountain by the time it's like seven p.m., or we turn back and kind of miss out on like discovery, like more of the mountain. We decided we were going to discover more of the mountain, so we went to like this jungly area of the mountain. And just using kind of our GPS,、um, saved Google Maps, we started navigating across the mountain. But it was like a mountain ridge. It was it. It was not really a real trail. It was a trail that it's taken by like the locals, but not by tourists at all. It's not. It's not a safe trail at all. There's no like bars or anything to stop you from like falling over. And、uh, we didn't really know how long this trail would go. We thought maybe it would take us maybe an hour or two to get to the end, and then probably about on the mountain. 
But the thing is, we kept on walking and walking and walking, and it never ended. We knew there was an end. We knew there was eventually going to be, we're going to run into something, like a, like a town or a city or something, a little town. But the more we walked, the more denser and the more like precarious the trail got. By this time, it had already been a couple of hours of us like walking and running um, into, and we're just walking around the mountains. And at this point, we were just really tired. We were really tired. We were dehydrated. There were a lot of spiders. So we had like spider webs all over us. We were cut all over because we were going through this dense like mountain, like jungle. And we were starting to lose a little bit of hope because by this time we couldn't turn around. We were way too far into the mountain jungle to turn around and make it down um, if we turned around. But so we had to march forward, but we just didn't know how much longer we had to go until we ran into this town. Eventually, we ran into a goat, goats in the mountains. And um, it was kind of surprising. We were like, okay, if there are these goats, there must be people. So we keep walking and walking and walking and we run into more goats. And eventually another half an hour, 45 minutes pass and we see a little town like in the distance. And we knew that was like the little town that was on the mountain. So we finally get there. We get there and we're just like, we're like mountain men. We're just like dirty and I, I still had to use the restroom. It had been hours since I had to use the restroom. But like at this point, I was thinking about just like, we need to get back to our uh, to our hotel. So we start talking to the locals in the town with our broken Chinese and we're like, hey, how do we get down from the mountain? They said, the only way to get down is through the elevator. There's like this elevator that takes you down. And we were like, okay, like how far away is it? And they said it was a mile or two. And we knew we had to like, uh, we couldn't like walk it and get there on time. So we asked, you know, if they could drive us and we would pay them. But he wanted to like charge us like, I know this sounds petty, but he wanted to charge us probably like 10 or 11 bucks. But in Chinese money, that's like a lot of money. That's So we were like, nah, like, you know, thank you for your offer. We'll figure it out ourselves. Even though it was literally just a couple of dollars, uh, we were kind of, I don't know, we were pretty cheapskate at this point. So instead we ran into this lady, she was like, I don't know, worked at a shop or something. And we asked her like, we asked her like, uh, because we knew on our map that there was a trail that went down the mountain. And she with our, uh, she confirmed with us that there was, but like she did not want to show us where this trail was. And we were like, why don't you want to show us this trail? And she was saying that um, it was a very dangerous trail. She was saying there was snakes and that it was like, just like unkept and it was just dangerous. It was dangerous to go down that trail. At this point, we had maybe uh, like an hour left till we get, get down the mountain. And uh, we really want to get that down because if not, we we're gonna be stuck up in these mountains. So, we made her an offer. We made her an offer that uh, you know we give her some money, like a couple bucks, to show us where the trail is. And um, she was like, "Okay, sounds good." And then we asked her if she can give us some waters, and she she charged us for the waters too. I was like, uh, "Like, can't you just give it to us for free? We're just, you're showing you're showing us where the trail is. We're giving you money, but she charges for the waters too. Whatever." I think she offered us some eggs too, if I remember right. She finally leads us a little bit outside the town and there's this old like trailhead. Like literally looks like from like Indiana Jones. Like there's just this rock, mossy rocks and it just went deep into the mountain. Like deep down into the jungle. Like we already been like deep in the jungle mountains but this was like the abyss. And we knew we only had, you know, 45 minutes maybe to like get down to the, to the, to the bottom of the mountain, to the, to the street. So we like ran, we hustled down that mountain. We literally were running down these, like, uh, this trail, which was like mostly rocks, mostly like granite rocks, but it was like mossy and like wet. And we were just running. And because it was so wet and mossy, it was extremely slippery. So we were falling. I fell a handful of times and fell really hard. Like I fell really hard and I got, I got hurt a little bit. Um, but we were just like spiders and just like 
like just darkness it was, it was there was no light and it was becoming evening time so like we were running out of time we really didn't want to get stuck deep down in this like jungly part of the mountain because it was it was pretty scary it was, it was, and we were just like bloody i was just like bloody my arms and uh we were just um extremely tired and we got some water which was good but we were still like very like hungry and we just wanted to be back. So we ran and ran and ran and ran. We finally get to the bottom of the mountain and literally with just a few minutes to spare. We finally get to the bottom of the mountain and we do see the street. We see the street where the buses uh, are like uh, driving. But the issue is to get to the street, we had to cross like this river. And at this point, we just didn't care. We didn't give a crap. Let's go into the let's go into the river. I don't care. Let's just go. So we just like grabbed, you know, our bags and put them up and we just, you know, cross the river. We're all wet. We're soaking wet and then, you know, it was super cold. We finally uh, crossed the river. We had to climb onto the street because it was like on a like a ledge. So we climb up. We're like crawling onto the street and finally Literally, probably not a minute or two passes, and the last bus is heading our way. So we just like stop them. We stop them like in the middle of the street, and we're like, "Hey, we're tourists. We need to get back to the city." And you know, they let us in, and we smell awful. Even though um, usually you can't smell yourself because you know, um, but I knew we smelled awful, and I knew like everyone in the bus knew. We were like, "Who are these people?" They like, literally came off out of like. The, the mountain and they're like dirty and they're like bloodied and they, they look like they're they've been through hell I was just relieved that we finally made it off the mountain because like I I really thought we were gonna have to maybe like sleep in the jungle you know if we were going to get stuck or if we was gonna get too late or we we're gonna get too lost we we're gonna have to sleep in the jungle eventually we the bus gets back to the city and we get off the bus and like I said before I had to use the restroom and at this point, I've been kind of like constipated for like hours. It's been like probably six hours I've been constipated. And I had to use the restroom as soon as possible. We slowly walk across the city until we find like a public restroom. I f we finally found a public restroom and I had heavily release. We got some food afterwards. Um, and then uh, we ran back to our hotel and we took a photo. And our faces is just us in amazement that we like survived all this and that we made it back to our hotels. And if I remember right, we probably walked or ran during that day, probably like 25, 26 miles in like one day. And we were exhausted. It was horrible. It was awful. We went to bed and, uh, you know, we just prayed. Thank God that we made it uh, and we were well. So even though it was pretty like a crazy experience at the time, it's still like a fun story to tell now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my story and uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day and stay safe.